It's Madden NFL 23 on EA Sports. And we've got Tavarius Ward, who's been stepping up to challenges all season. Now at eight interceptions. It's the Raiders and the Panthers. And it's all up next on EA Sports. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to Uptown Sharp. closer toward the midway point of this NFL season and we're underway on EA Sports from the six and he won't quite make it to the 25 so here are the Panthers now for their opening drive they'll have Jimmy G calling the shots grew up in the northern suburbs of Chicago went to eastern Illinois Jimmy Garoppolo not sure what you thought but I thought it was appropriate when he walked into our meeting with his arm totally encased in ice because he threw five touchdown passes last week and won the NFC Offensive Player of the Week award. Yeah, I've been reading the paper this morning, and he said, gosh, I actually thought I should have got six or seven. But still, it was an amazing performance a week ago. Boy, I'll tell you what, if he thought he should have had six or seven, that's a guy that's an absolute perfectionist, not just greedy. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 13 yards on the game's opening play. a week ago and he does a nice job here to pick up yardage line of scrimmage the 37 on first and 10 to throw is Garoppolo the first catch of the game for George Kittle and they're going to get this up to midfield I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know, they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. From midfield, here's Garoppolo. Over the middle, and it's caught. Keenan Allen. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. He plays in here, but really, Charles, a solid start for this offense. And now we'll see if they can continue their mission to end this drive at six. I wonder if their play call right now is reflecting on that last big play that they've had on this drive. Do you come back with something similar, or do you have a counter to it? Kind of show it and go to something else and create another big play. Naeem Hines, his first carry. And he's going to be close to a first down as he gets this to the Raiders 31. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Hines. And he picks up the first before he's taken down at the 29. If you make the stop there, maybe you hold him to three on this opening drive. They didn't get the stop. Yeah, new set of downs now. Now you're worried about, just as you pointed out, not just giving up three, possibly giving up six. Let's see what they decide to do here because they've got to change up what they have been doing. It hasn't been working. Now a toss play, it's Hines. Slipped one tackle, but no more as he's knocked to the deck behind the line of scrimmage. It's 
It's a loss of four there, bringing up second down. This defense is a difficult one to prepare for, one of the best in the league. They'll come at you from all angles, and they did a nice job there stopping him for a loss. So a step in the wrong direction. Now they'll look to make amends on second and 14. Now they'll throw with Garoppolo. The tight end Kittle has it on the left side. And he'll be brought down at about the 23-yard line. Throwing now is Garoppolo. For Keenan Allen, that's complete. And he gets inside the 10 to the 9. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Uh, that's a big conversion there on third down, and this has been a great opening drive. You know, at this point, they'd hate to settle for three, but they created a fresh set of downs and a first and goal. A terrific opening drive has them knocking on the door, first and goal. Here's Hines. And he's going to pull his way down to about the one-yard line. Second and goal from the one. And they'll turn to the power game to try to get in. And they will take it across from Panthers' touchdown. His third rushing touchdown of the year, his fifth overall. And the Panthers get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. A long opening drive, but a very successful opening drive. We call that methodical, I guess, when it takes that many plays. Methodical and almost like a boxing match where you're hitting them with body blows. They can withstand them here. Look, they gave up the touchdown, but you don't feel like a knockout is there. But they keep doing that in the fourth quarter. That's when the knockout occurs. And it becomes tough for that defense if they're on the field. That long. We'll see if they can continue that in future drives. The point after through the raindrops up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. And this will be a touchback, so they'll bring it out to the 25. So here comes the Raider offense now onto the field. And they'll be led out by their quarterback now in his third season in the league. And you've got to think that they've got to be feeling pretty fresh. You know, coming off of the open week, didn't have to play, right? Gives them a chance to rest up a little bit, heal some of those aches and pains, and excited about playing again. That really rekindles things a little bit. I want to see how they come out and establish themselves here early. And that bye week coming right where they want it in the middle of the schedule. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. They'll keep it on the ground. Carrington. And he'll take this to the 32, a gain of about three. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. On third down. Carrington and they get him down but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line a pickup of 10 and it's enough for Las Vegas first down the Raiders at five and one here in this early part of the season and they come in with fresh legs they got the extra time off thanks to an early season open week and usually your hope is that your open week comes a little bit later in the year but when you get a chance get your fresh legs back you have to take that time and run with it and that's what they're trying to get done here They'll run on first down. Carrington, and he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. On second down, Carrington. And a good run here as he'll rumble all the way down to the 40-yard line. The pickup goes for 16 and a Raider first down. You were telling me this yesterday. This is exactly what they want to do on the opening drive, establish the ground game. Yeah, remember our conversation? We were talking about what one of the GMs in the league has told me repeatedly. It's a big man's game. It's not necessarily size. He's talking about playing some big boy football. Line up, get leverage, knock people back, and establish the run early. So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 right at the 40. And he's got some space here. And this defense not ready for that one as he'll take this down inside the 25. 51 yards rushing for him as he's got the afternoon off to a great start. 
So back-to-back -back big runs, picking apart this defense on the opening drive. I thought this was a passing league. I thought this was the <laughs> era we were in where the ball was always in the air, right? They didn't get the memo. And they didn't get the memo, and I know this to be true. Offensive linemen still, to this day, they want to run the football. They want to fire out and hit people across the line of scrimmage, and they're clearing space. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two, and it brings up second down. Throwing it this time with Oladokun. Puts it on the carpet, it's out, and it's picked up by the Panthers. Had some good yardage there, too, before he fumbled that football, Charles. Yeah, just think about it this way. Running backs, as a general rule, they kind of know when the end of a run is near, and you notice how they cover up, right? They protect the football. Sometimes quarterbacks forget that out in the open field. After a while, you start to wonder, does the running back coach visit the quarterback coach and say, hey, I can help you with this. We can protect this and make sure we keep the ball. They begin the drive with Hines. And he'll take this forward only up to about the seven. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. They run again with Hines. And he'll take this one up to about the 13. Garoppolo to throw on third and one. And the catch is made here by Tyler Lockett. And he is going to have a Panthers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Second quarter now from Charlotte, and it's the Panthers with the football as they've got it with a first and ten. This is Hyde. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Throwing on second and eight, Garoppolo. They'll try and set up the screen to Hines. And he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. It'll be a loss of two, maybe three on the play. And they'll be facing a third and 12. Well, sometimes despite the best planning, the defense actually has a plan as well. And they blanketed everyone on that play. They were able to close it down and spill it for a loss. And this offense on third down today, a perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. This is third down and 12. Finds Hines again for the completion. And he is going to have a Panthers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. It looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. At that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try to cover him before he gets going? A couple of first downs have him to the 40 now on first and 10. Garoppolo looks to throw. This one into the hands of Kittle, the tight end. To throw again on second down. Garoppolo. The pass underneath. Here's Hines with it. This offense has converted two third downs on this drive already. This is third and four. And yet again, it's Garoppolo. And that will be incomplete. That is certainly one way to frustrate a quarterback. Run those extra defenders on the field. Dime package, lots of speed, no space to fit into football. And now a low liner. I think he mishit him. A special teams mistake there, no doubt. Just 26 yards officially on the punt. And the Raiders will take over now first and 10. Getting set to go again as we look at the back, heading onto the field again. He's doing his thing. He's got some good yardage, but his team right now in the second quarter, zero points. Just not a complete formula. Half of it's there, being able to run the ball and set the tone. What if they may have to go to some play action, throw up run game, and try and get I was just going to ask you that same thing. Maybe you use that run to set up the pass, right? I would think so because the run has been very effective for them. This first carry of their second drive, pretty solid. And, of course, remember back to their first drive, really strong throughout that one. Not only is he getting good blocking up front, but how about his vision to find the holes? And he's seeing things before they even open and hurtling through them.
Right back to him on first down. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. They'll keep it on the ground. Carrington call it a gain of four there, so it sets up a big play here. Third and a yard. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. They'll try and run for the first with Stevenson. They're just four yards on the pickup, but that's good enough to extend the drive. That's quite a spot there for his first carry of the game, but obviously they had plenty of faith in him, didn't they? No question about it. And here, why not go with the fresh legs? Able to push forward, pick up that first. From the 34 now, here's first to 10. Now a handoff up the middle. Carrington. Shaq Thompson on the tackle that time. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Up the middle they go. Carrington. A gain of two there on the heels of a one-yard pickup on first. Seventh play of the drive upcoming here on third and six. Now Ola Dilton. A bullet throw, but incomplete. Tucker's kick is good, and they are on the board, but still trailing in 7-3. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks, you tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take, punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. So here are the Panthers set to take over. They were winners a week ago over the Bucks. They lead here as well as they come up on first down. Here's a handoff to Hines to begin the drive. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. He was brought down at the 26. One-yard gain. On second down, right back to Hines. Only a couple there as he'll be brought down about the 28. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. On fourth down, Matt arises sent on a punt. He'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. And the punt goes out of bounds. They put it, they'll put it just inside the 45-yard line. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gets up to go again. Now he's having himself a little bit Winning of a right now, so His you team might, right now, though, losing. I got a shot here. Bit of help. And I kind of equate it to a basketball game where you have the big score, and sometimes your strategy is, okay, he can go ahead and have all of his points. Let's hold down everyone else, and that's the way you win the game. And right now, he I needs to pull it out there. to start Obviously. scoring, quote unquote, sure. as he's been. Yeah, and he's hoping to keep it close so maybe they can keep it on the ground, not start to go through the air as much. Listen in. What do you want me to know? Two minutes to play in this first half. 7-3, our score. Coming up at halftime, I'll go from one personality, that's you, Charles Davis, to another one in Orlando, the coach. I hope, I have see, stats and scores from around the NFL. You and Jonathan you Coachman um, both larger than life. That you no win this game because you're, you're stuck with me in this one. And yes, he's miles away and smiling. And happy. Looking to throw again on second down. Oladokun over the middle complete. That's Rowe. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers' 24-yard line. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. And it's Ola Dokin on first down. This is Coleman with a grab. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts. 
as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Oladokun. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Nothing on almost, first down, that so the ball took remains the at the eight-yard line, and second and goal. And Oladokun going to throw it here. And timing a bit off that time as that would fall to the ground. Two incompletions haven't moved him any closer. And likely throwing again, you'd have to think, on third and goal here. And that is oh, and look at that. Touchdown, Raiders. <laughs> Looks like we took it. Olamide Zacchaeus, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Raiders will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. That could be an important swing right there. A touchdown in the final minute of the half to take the lead. And I like the point you just made there. Could be an important swing because now that they have the lead, if they can carry that into the locker room at the half, they'll feel really good about what they accomplished in the first two quarters. Tucker with the extra point. And the lead is now 10 to A foul? How, what foul? What did we do that was foul? Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. No run back here, down to a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. The Panthers going to go back on offense here late in this first half. With this slim deficit closing in on the end of the first half, we'll see if they can move this at least into field goal range and try to get three hey, out of this drive. that was the case, they still wouldn't take the touchdown. Throwing on first and Garoppolo. This one caught by Kittle. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts. And then they stop the it here with just under 40 ticks to go. It, oh, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. It's Devin White, the linebacker. And the Raiders are going to take possession of the football. Look at that interception, boy. Oh, and I saw the pressure coming at him. That just looked problematic. Hit him as he threw it. And the interception ensued. Let me pay homage to the man who stood in this spot before. He always talked about how much pressure is in the face of a guy and can he step into a throw. And when you can't do that, oftentimes interceptions result. The Raiders offense coming back out onto the field. And they've got a good chance of getting points out of this. They start in the red zone on first down. Throwing on first down with Oladokun. And it's caught. Touchdown. Trey McBride. His first touchdown on the year. What's the problem the with that Raiders touchdown? Will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. CD for them. This has just been an offensive explosion here in the second quarter. Yeah, held scoreless in the first quarter. Now they're in the end zone again here in the second. Sometimes you just have to have some patience. A lot of people think it's always an adjustment. You have to change what you're doing. Sometimes you just have to do your game plan just a little bit better. And I think that's part of what we're seeing here. Tucker able to connect on the extra point. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. Tucker down. Kick it away following the touchdown. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. The Panther offense going to see the ball one more time in this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, don't see not the, sure you how don't see aggressively the offensively they right want to play this. Happen. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. And that is incomplete. 16 seconds now on the clock. Not wanting to take a chance this time. They'll keep it on the ground. And he'll just keep two hands on the football as he'll be taken down after a short pickup. Now the Raiders going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they stop it with 11 seconds remaining in this first half. One more time, they'll keep it on the ground. And he'll be brought down at the 28, and that is well short of the first. And they're going to take a timeout defensively. So with fourth down coming up, they go ahead and burn it and say we'll see what happens. Matt Arisen now on to punt this one away. 
He's been a busy man here this first half as he gets it away. And a fair catch called for and made just inside the 35-yard line. Just 34 yards on the punt there, no return. And there will be time for maybe one final play before halftime. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Hi again, everybody. Let's get you caught up with what's going on around the league here in the unofficial midway point, week eight of the NFL season. We'll get started over at the Superdome in New Orleans. And it's the Chiefs who are out in front as they move towards halftime. Darnell Moody, a touchdown reception. Next, we'll take the trip north to the Steel City to check on the Steelers at home in Pittsburgh. And they've got the lead in their ball game over the visiting Cleveland Browns. Lamar Jackson with three touchdown passes. Finally, we're off to Atlanta to check on the Falcons at home at Mercedes-Benz Stadium. And they've got the lead in that ball game over the visiting 49ers. Patrick Mahomes killing it. Three touchdown passes. On now to a check on the next-gen stats for the Raiders in that first half. And a big reason why they have this big lead, the running game. They're over 100 yards as a team, and it's been the catalyst for this offense. Meanwhile, for the Panthers, the rushing numbers tell a different story. They really couldn't get a whole lot going on the ground. And the evidence? The numbers. All right, Coach, thank you very much. As we welcome you back for quarter number three. Forecast calling for more of the same. The rain set to continue as we are underway in the second half. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. Now comes the Raiders offense. They'll go on offense first to start quarter number three. And they've got the lead, CD. What do you expect from them in the second half? Well, I like what they were able to do on the ground in the first half because they had a lot of success running the ball, and I certainly think we'll see more of that. But I keep an eye on that defense, and I think their coaches up in the box will do the exact same thing. If they start to see one or two guys start to creep towards the line of scrimmage, that'll be licensed to take some shots downfield. A couple extra guys in the formation here as they line up third and two. They'll keep it on the ground. Carrington. And yeah, they will touch him down, but not before he gets the first. It's a gain of four there, and it gives him a new set of downs. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. Happening with your team? Got real quiet over there. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Oladokun on first and 10. Complete to Zacchaeus. They'll give him four yards there, and it'll be second down. Now a handoff up the middle. Carrington. And he takes this up right near the 45-yard line. The referee didn't call it. It didn't happen. On third down. Carrington, and he'll be touched down here, but not before he does pick up the first. Two yards is the pickup. That'll be good enough for a Las Vegas first down. Well, someone's been having a good game so far, and you know something? A lot of it's been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. What game are you playing? Turn you. The first downs on the drive already as they'll go from the 47 yeah, yeah, back for too long. first down. They run the counter. Carrington. And I think the ball's out. And they will set up shop at their own 41 yard line. And maybe that would cause by the weather, of course, the rain coming down. Charles, can you maybe, when you're carrying that football, grip it too tight in the rain? I think that you As can. Saying, that's you such can't a delicate balance, too, because when you grip through. it so tight, sometimes it'll slip out from your body. You squeeze it too hard, and it'll pop out on its own. I've actually had running backs talk to me about that, that when they've tried too hard, 
even in perfect conditions, the ball gets away from them. They've got to find that good balance, carrying it firmly, yet at the same time under control. The result, only four yards there on the play, and it'll be second down. That catch, by the way, number 505 of his career, and that ties him with a couple of other tight ends for the pass, Frank Wycheck and Dallas Clark. Those guys are excellent players, but how about what we're seeing right now? 505 and rising. What a nice career he's put together. From the 45 on second down, Garoppolo, and his throw here is incomplete. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Looking to throw. Garoppolo. He finds his target, Allen. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. That will go down as 33 yards on the third down conversion. There's no doubt in my mind that not many guys in this league have had the impact that he's had here in the first half of the season. He's been a big play guy from the word go and continues to be one with another one right there. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. From the gun, it's Garoppolo. Going back to Allen, he's got him again. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. This duo locked in 14 yards there. And a first down. How about the way they're moving the ball down the field? They had a big play a moment ago. Followed it up with another nice one here. And before you know it, they're already looking at first and goal. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. To throw, it's Garoppolo. And that's complete to the right side. It's Allen. From the two now, second and goal. Under pressure, down he goes. Sacked at the 10. Quincy Williams worked his way back for that sack. When you're this close to the goal line, you've got to expect pressure from the defense. So the ball's got to come out fast. Got to get out of his hands quicker. A big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. A shotgun snap for Garoppolo. Over the middle, and it's caught. Keenan Allen. They showed off a nice juke of the defender before the next wave could bring him down. That pass play good for seven. But it still brings up a fourth and goal. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there. And they rallied and made the tackle. A Gonzalez out now to try the Panther field goal. This a chip shot, a 20-yarder. Gonzalez's kick is good. And they're back within a touchdown. It's 17-10. Well, certainly happy they were able to force the fumble, Charles, but wish they would have gotten in the end zone, only getting three points there and still facing the second-half deficit. And they also will understand it's going to be a whole lot tougher to force another turnover the rest of the game because that offense, they're going to be all about ball security from here on out. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. Here's Las Vegas ready to take the field. And last time they coughed it up, led to a field goal. They're fortunate that it only led to a field goal, but still, they're not happy about it. Could you sense the relief, though, when oh. they only gave up the field goal? And they were able to drop back out on the field and start this drive. A little more pep in their step because they didn't cost their team a touchdown. But they know they've got to do it a lot better than they did on the last possession. The coach will just be relieved, though, if they recoup with a score here, right? I think coach will be ecstatic to see them pick themselves back up and now take it downfield, punching the end zone without turning it over. And he continues to pile up the yardage. That puts him over a buck 50 now. And this defense has really had its problems trying to keep him contained. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and 10. They'll keep it on the ground. Carrington. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. On second down now. Carrington. Room here to run. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. 171 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. 
Well, that is a running back who is not about to go down easily. He fought his way through the contact until the seas opened up for him. And with a guy his size, you have to know defensively that arm tackles aren't going to fly with him. You have to be able to wrap up, or else he can just brush tacklers aside like they're not even there. On first down, Carrington. And he'll get about five here as he'll take this down inside the 20-yard line. On second down, Carrington. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Now Oladokun, 30. And that is incomplete. Oh, this is the best he had just one target in the first half. Incomplete. Now incomplete here with the first target in the second half. Yeah, I should not stop them at all from going back to him. Find him. Find him. Tucker's kick is good. And they double him up here. That makes our score 20 to 10. So the lead grows here incrementally. But I think the way their defense is playing, you feel okay with just getting three. They've definitely been stout so far, but now that could all change because if one guy gets loose for 70 yards, this is a different game. But as it stands, field goals are good. Just keep adding to that lead. Possession of the football goes over to Carolina. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right, to them. That's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize. Like going to the county fair, you don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. 11 yards and a Panther first down. Despite the score, despite the deficit, no quit in this guy. He's running angry, running through arm tackles. He wants to change what that scoreboard is saying. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Throwing now is Garoppolo. And he is going to be taken down. And that should be the final play of this third quarter. So it's a quarter that saw these two teams trade field goals here as we've reached the end of three quarters of play. We'll return to more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Another try after the first down sack. Garoppolo, and that is going to be incomplete as he led him a bit too much. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And the Raiders have got him. Multiple players getting home there for an eight-yard loss. I remember when I was a kid, and all I wanted was a nickel. I could get that soda down at the fountain, and guess what? The nickel came into play well. Five defensive backs. They covered well, allowed for the sack. Sodas were a nickel when you were a kid? No, I just needed the extra nickel oh. so, I could pay the, so I could pay the proper okay, price. Okay, how much were they, a dime? <laughs> what were they? Uh, 15 cents. There's the Panthers punter now. As he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. Fielded at about the 28. Call it a 48-yard punt. Give them nine, though, on the return. And it'll be Raiders football first and ten. The Vegas offense ready for their next possession. Now, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. He was brought down there by Julian Love. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. They'll keep it on the ground. Carrington. And yeah, they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. The offense on third down tonight. They've been very good. Five for seven thus far. They're looking at third and a few inches. And he will have the first down as he gets this to the 47. 190 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, 
He's the guy they've turned to, and it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. They'll run on first down. Carrington, and he picks up about six as he gets this down to the 41. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Up the middle they go. Carrington, and here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 to 36. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and ten. Now a handoff up the middle. Carrington and a solid run down inside the 30. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Starting to become a tough spot for this defense. You're down fourth quarter, looking a little fatigued maybe on that side of the ball. Partner, we've seen this before, haven't we? Because every coach we've ever talked to says body language is important. And now you're seeing guys with their hands on their hips, they're bent over, hands on their knees. The offensive guys are just saying, let's just keep running it out. We've got them now. How about this offensive line? They're really starting to establish themselves, take over this game. And before the series began, I know exactly what was said in the defensive huddle. Guys, we got to get no less than a three and out. Let's get off the field. Instead, they can't find any traction towards doing that. Right now, they're just getting muscled all over the field and getting pushed down. Throwing it this time with Oladokun. Firing quickly, but it's incomplete. Facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down to throw Oladokun. And this is caught. Touchdown, Raiders. Olamide Zacchaeus, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Raiders are looking to make it two straight as they add on to this fourth quarter lead. An important score there, CD, and now an important extra point because it would make it a three-score game. Love the map there, and at this point in the fourth quarter, look, we all need next-gen stats, right? We all use them, but we don't need them here, do we? Because that means it's almost a certain victory. Tucker with the extra point, and that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. Takes it at the seven. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. Carolina getting set to take the field. Facing a big fourth quarter deficit here. Things not looking good. You know, this offense, though, they've been in the top half of the NFL so far this season. But in this one, well, their defense has really struggled. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Aaron Donald. Make that now eight sacks for him on the season. That's number four. Sack number four. They had four last week. So he's he's been down on the ground a lot. Partner, they say the eye in the sky does not lie. And that's indeed the case because they watched the game tape from the previous week, incorporated into their own defensive scheme, and continued to get after this quarterback. And now this defense will be searching for sack number five. So now 20 yards to go on second down after the sack. Work to be done. Working from the gun, Garoppolo. And on the left sideline, he caught it, but out of bounds, according to the headlinesman. Incomplete. So the ball a little late getting there, and it's third down. Now Garoppolo. Looking for Allen. He's got him on the slam. And not much happening there. He's taken down, but a late penalty flag in the backfield. Now this looks like a roughing call. Ouch, you thought you had the defensive stand. Roughing the passer wipes it out. What does every defense talk about? Three and out, right? Thought they were able to get off the field. Not so. Call it a gain of three on the play. And it's second down. Garoppolo looks to throw. And that throw behind his man. He missed him. Incomplete. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Trying to force it to Allen, and it's intercepted. 
Picked off by Charvarius Ward. And the Raiders are going to get the football here as he gets this up past the 20-yard line. Well, time, I mean, certainly not on their side offensively. They had to take some chances, but that interception will further hinder their already slim chance at victory. Yeah, and you're talking about time not on their side, but it certainly is on the defense's side, and they understood that. They knew they had to press it a little bit, and they planned accordingly, and what a benefit for them, able to pick that one off and hopefully put this game away. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. They'll keep it on the ground. Carrington. And he'll get two or three out of that one as that is going to take us to the two-minute warning. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. So it's Raider football as we get you reset. They've got a third down now as they look for one more first down to help salt this one away. Up the middle they go. Carrington, and he'll be marked down short of the first as they get to him at the 29. It's a six-yard gain, and it leaves them looking at a fourth down. So where would all that running room that he had in the first half go? Because it looks like it's drying up a little bit here. Someone made some adjustments, it appears, at least on this drive. And on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. They'll score that a 36-yard punt, and the Panthers will take over now first and 10. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. Well, I think that the folks here had hoped that maybe this home atmosphere would carry their guys to a surprise victory, but it does not appear that that's going to be the case. There's too much to handle on the other side in this one. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and that's going to bring up second down. There's Garoppolo to throw. Flushed out right. Again to the big tight end, George Kittle. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in the fourth. Garoppolo to throw on third and one. And that's going to be too high. Out of bounds and incomplete. They'll run for it with Hines. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop it with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. On first down, Garoppolo. He hits his target, lock it. Now the offense will burn their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with an even 20 seconds left to go. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Garoppolo. And he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. Picked up by Charvarius Ward. And the Raiders are going to take over at their own two-yard line. So many times we end a game, and as we're recapping it, we're talking about what offenses did and how they won the game. Let's flip this one over. The defense... They frustrated the offense the entire ball game. That's why they're walking out of here with a victory. And they're going to love to walk out of here with that as their final act, that interception. Good way for them to end it. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. And it would appear that the open week a week ago came just at the right time as they have dominated the proceedings here into this fourth quarter. Well, CD, for the losing side, they had opportunities in this one, but big plays just didn't go their way, especially late, and they have to suffer the L here. It certainly felt like that takeaway once it happened and knocked the wind out of their sails, and they just couldn't get their equilibrium back. So for Las Vegas, they remain one of the hottest teams out there as the wind moves them to 6-1, and one. and they will head home next week to take on the L.A. Chargers. Meanwhile, for Carolina, the struggles intensify as they drop to 2-6 and six now on the year. And they'll take this loss into the bye as they'll be back in action in Week 10.